Hello humans, it's me again, and now I have Carissa's Amazing Drawing Book 3, Marvel Edition. I'm calling it that because I have mostly Marvel pictures in this drawing book, because I did a whole bunch of Marvel drawings recently. So, let me get the camera and turn it around so that you guys can see what I've done. Okay. Here's the first one. It's not exactly the best picture ever, and arm is kind of weird. This is Thor in his casual attire. Sort of. That's what it was meant to be. And it looks like his beard is smiling too. <laughs> Alright. But the next one is a little better. Uh, here is Thor in his uniform. It almost looks like he got sort of a black eye right there, but that's just the ink, 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 the ink leaking through from the other side. So there's his beard and mustache and his armor and silver playing in both arms. And he's got his cape and stuff. And then we have Clint Barton. Who has his forehead wrinkled up as usual. Because he's worried about something. He's got a purple shirt on. I'm not sure if it's going to show up very well. Because he likes purple. He's wearing shorts. Or something. I think they're either shorts or capris. I didn't finish his legs on there, so we can't tip. And then Hawkeye. This one I drew from a picture, including copying the position he was in. He's grabbing an arrow from his quiver to put in his bow. And he's wearing, it looks like a sleep mask or something, but that's supposed to be sunglasses. Alright, and Loki in his casual attire. He's wearing a turtleneck. Loki. And Loki in his uniform with his horned helmet. And I think he's sitting on his cape. See, his feet are up. And there's his cape behind him. I kind of missed up right there. That one was pretty lit. That part was kind of hard to draw. Uh, this one's not a Marvel character. This is one of my original characters. He's a werewolf. Or at least it turns into one sometimes. It appears that in his werewolf form, only half of his hair remains. Because the other half seems to be ripped off. <laughs> He's wearing pants. For obvious reasons. Because I don't want to don't want to draw this guy without his pants. And this is him in his normal form. His name is Agent Reynold. He's grumpy. Still got his pants on from the last picture. So apparently no damage was done. Probably had to get a different shirt though. Now this one's supposed to be Bucky or James Buchanan Barnes and he's wearing a Captain America shirt and he has stubby arms for some reason. I do not know. I do not know why I did that. And Bucky is the Winter Soldier. This is middle arm with the red star on it. He's very serious about that. 
And then I also drew him as a little bulldog. Bucky Bulldog. I kind of messed up on the face of this one. But yeah. Same middle arm. And then... This thing... I think I eventually called her Sunrise. She's a cat. Yeah, I just broke. Um, what? Because I couldn't explain this. And then, Pepper Potts. With her arms crossed, I messed up on the hands. Nick Fury casual sweatshirt and sweatpants and Nick Fury in his work uniform he's got his leather jacket back In, in his casual attire. His shirt says, I love my son. And then in small, there's a little green S. So it says, I love my sons. He just added on the S as extra to pretend like, to pretend like he loves both his sons. But we know he only loves Thor. Here's Odin in his normal attire. With the single glove. Same gold shoes though. He didn't change his shoes for his uniform. He don't feel like doing it. Uh, dresses. This is a cranberry or violet red dress. With little hearts on it. And an ugly orangish brown dress with what looks like an egg. These little circles on it. And here is this was what I used to draw a picture for some student of mine. Sunrise and jeans together. They're supposed to be shaking hands, but there's no way either of them will reach. She can't extend her arm any further. He can't extend his arm any further. So they're just going to be stuck like that. James Mean and James Barnes, obviously. And then here is Peter Parker. In this weird blue and red checkered shirt underneath his indigo sweater. He's got those black pants and black shoes. And he's happy. And then he's Spider Man. He's just hanging about as usual, like all the Spider Men do. He's probably squinting. And then there's Ant-Man. I probably didn't do that good of a job on this one. Here's his suit. And Happy Hogan. Ready for work. This is Rhodey in his Iron Man suit. His War Machine suit, actually. I accidentally drew it a little too bulky, though. So that's why this is here. <laughs> and there's the Black Panther.
see the details I put on there. These I used pictures to base on them. So this one, I think this was Wanda. Actually, no, this is Scarlet Witch. Wanda's later on in the book. So Scarlet Witch got her necklaces, her dress, silver gloves. And she's ready. On the other side is Vision. He's got his cape. There's his infinity stone. And this is a character of mine from Berkeley and Bentley. This is Sadie. She's obviously up to no good though. She's supposed to be a black lab. And then here's Tooth from the sequel. I didn't finish writing. He's a German Shepherd. He's got an eye patch. He lost an eye in a fight. And Boomer, the Afghan Hound, who isn't very intelligent and gets lost easily. And Pointer, the Rat Terrier. He's got that helmet on so that he can listen into what people are thinking because he can't hear very well. So he needs to have a mind reading helmet. Here is Quicksilver. He says, Catch me if you can. Obviously, no one can catch him. Crooked mustache. Running shirt. Fingerless gloves. Right. Now here I got some more artwork. This is based on the Butterfly Wolves from Chicken Smoothie. That's the website I like to play on. So obviously this isn't my own creation. It's just based on someone else's. Like most of the other things in this book are got the different days and when they grow up and what they turn into. And I even did lions based on that. There's two babies. They can turn into that girl, that boy, or that cat. That one's a cat. That one stays as a cat. Now, the boy grows a mane eventually. The girl just stays like that. And now, we've got Doctor Strange. He's not happy. The big cape. His Eye of Agamotto. Three belts, because he likes to have belts for some reason. He's got the circle beard. Alright. And then after that point, I started putting some of the characters together. That's where I got pictures like this from. Captain America. And this was supposed to be Clint Burton, I think. He's crying for some reason. And he kept like, hmm. And he got his shield. I didn't really continue drawing the shield after that. Because most of his body was hidden off the camera anyway, so I didn't bother. Tony Stark which is orange sunglasses and a cat shirt with Spider-Man in the homemade suit. And then we have Steve Rogers and the Winter Soldier with a scar. And here's She-Hulk. I don't really like that character, but I drew her anyways. That's Bruce's cousin. 
Rocket. Raccoon. Probably holding a weapon of mass destruction behind his back. And Red Hulk. And Captain America. Being derpy. And then I got some fish. Still based on the chicken smoothie pets. These ones are koi, as you can tell by the whiskers. And then Bruce Banner and Nick Fury. He's got his usual purple button up shirt. And then there's just Nick Fury that hmm? Here's Loki and Black Widow. He's got his helmet on. The horns look a little droopy for some reason. He's got red eyes in this picture. And he has his gold chest plate. And there's Black Widow. She's got red eyeliner for some reason. There wasn't much room to draw her because he's taller than her. I tried to make that obvious. And Black Widow again. And Clint Burton again. Again with the red eyeliner, but this time she's wearing green blush and black lipstick. She's got that little necklace. And yeah. He's nervous. He doesn't know what she could do to him. She wouldn't hurt him though. And this one is Thor and Vision. Vision is gold and silver for some reason in this picture. And they're holding Mjolnir together. Thor is nervous. I accidentally made ovals instead of circles here for part of his armor. And more dogs from my story. This is Rufus Chow Chow with anger issues. And Slick Car. He's a boxer with four metal arms and legs because, well, his name is Slick Car, but he got into an accident and got hit by a car. Which is kind of ironic. It's sad, but ironic. So he had to have all his legs replaced. And now, Wanda Maximoff. Casual attire. She's wearing shorts. And a t-shirt. And P8 throw Maximoff. And his shirt says Wanda is best sister. And then Nick Fury and War Machine. I think. I'm pretty sure that's what it was supposed to be. <clears throat> Clint Burton again. This time with blonde hair. And Loki! Yet again, the horns are different shaped than last time. This time he has some bigger cheek protectors. He's got the chest protector and he's extra skinny in that picture. Clint is angry. And Tony Stark with a faux hawk. Same glasses, a suit and tie. And here is a slightly emo looking Peter Parker. He's not too amused, even though he's with T 
Tony. And then Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver together. That time I put her in a silver dress with a red red vest. They don't really look much like who they're supposed to be though. They're only obvious because she has the red hair and he's mostly silver. Alright. And now we have... It was supposed to be Captain America, but it almost looks like Bucky. And Black Widow again. This time with long orange hair, green blush for some reason. Wearing that uniform this time. Bucky in a box, saying public property. Uh, this is Jennifer Walters, Bruce Banner's cousin again, but this time she's in her normal form. And Venom! It's a super long tongue. He just wants a hug, right? No, he wants to eat you. And Hulk and She-Hulk together. Except She-Hulk is escaping the barrier. Because she apparently knows that there's a barrier there. But Hulk is being good and staying behind the barrier. Black Widow again, this time with Nick Fury. She got her red blush this time, that's more normal. Yet again, we're in a different uniform. She has so many uniforms, I guess. And Nick Fury's happy. And this time he's wearing a tag that says shield. You can barely tell because I covered it up with gold. Gold colored pencil. Okay. More She-Hulk. Bruce Banner, randomly either really tanned or gold-plated. Shirtless, look at all that chest hair. That's a problem. She thinks it's funny, of course. But he's not so sure. And... This was another drawing I started. For reference later when I was drawn for someone else. Hulk throwing a car, as usual, saying, Rrrr. And then someone's just saying, Bruce! You can't tell who it is because they're off camera. Off page two. Yes. I didn't color it in, I don't know why. Guess I never got around to it. And... J. Jonah Jameson. He's disgusted with you. Because you didn't bring him any Spider-Man pictures. And this is Aunt May from the new Spider-Man. Also, I did something weird with that one, so she's kind of gold-plated as well. Mm -hmm. And Happy Hogan again. He's really tired because Spider-Man won't let him sleep. Spider-Man keeps bugging him. Yay! Happy! He says. He's got his name tag. It says H. Hogan. For Happy Hogan. And then... The Black Panther and Spider-Man. They both have those blink white eyes that will stare into your soul. This one is Link as a cat. It's a really weird looking cat. You can tell it's Link though because it has the Triforce and it's green. I don't know. This is my character Timber. I drew her from the back this time. She's hi Pineka. She's unaware of the fact that she has a kick me sign on her back.
Here's Dr. Octopus reaching for the sky and the ground at the same time with his multiple arms. The sunglasses, green shirt, gold pants. He's got a trench coat on. And this is the green goblin. It's a very shiny green goblin, apparently. And then back to the double pictures again. This one's another Scarlet Witch. This time she's wearing her helmet. And Captain America's here with a very scaly uniform. I don't know why he switched that one. And he has little red gloves. And next we have Iron Man in a silver suit. And Hawkeye is here too. And he says, I never miss. But he's not even looking the right direction that he's shooting. He's not holding the bow right. He's not holding the arrow right. But he claims he'll never miss. So I guess he'll hit the target anyways. But wrong direction. I think. Oh, 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 this was quick. Okay. And here's Jennifer Walters again. And cousin Bruce. And there's Bruce. He's happy this time. And he's not gold plated anymore. Chest hair. Because his shirt's left open. Now, I had a comment told me, someone says they look like siblings, <laughs> instead of cousins. Well, uh, that was an accident. And here is Black Widow again. Black blush. And this time she's with Happy Hogan. And he's confused. Uh... Iron Man! The, uh, the helmet's really tall for some reason. And he's made to look little because he's next to Hulk. He's here yelling as you roll. I think I put too many muscles on him that time. And he's a bit skinny. This is an original drawing. This one's my characters Eco and Ijimiko. This is Eco. He says wood. He's trying to look at the diamond on his forehead. This is something that a lot of my characters have done already. So then there's Ijimiko over here saying, Stop it! That's overused! He's grouching. I don't know why they're not wearing their usual, un their usual outfits. I guess they have different outfits now. I didn't finish coloring in this one either. This is an original drawing. This is Millie. I might use her. Actually, I'm pretty sure I'm going to use her in one of my stories later on. And Sandman! Coming out of a pile of sand. Of course. Got the green striped shirt. And angry as usual. And MJ. This is the one from the new Spider-Man. She's just casually leaning against the wall. And then we have Loki next to a tiny Odin. Loki big forehead. His head looks like an egg. That was unintentional. Whoops. <sighs> and now here's Tony. He looks very, very sick and he doesn't have his facial hair anymore. And his arc reactor's off. And he's next to the Black Panther. I don't know why. Uh, I have no idea why. But that's not going to help him any bit. Now this is supposed to be Quicksilver. Next to Captain America. More scaly uniform. And here's Iron Man with just a mustache. And his head, his helmet's off. He's wearing a blue outfit this time. And Spider Man's dangling from the ceiling just to say hi. But he could scare Iron Man. 
this is Jarvis. I didn't really have very many pictures to go off of, since he doesn't exactly have a physical body. I just drew this. He's like a ball of information and electricity. These little bits of information flow into his body. Or, I don't even, I don't even, this is Jarvis though. This is the Mandarin from the comics, as far as I know. He's got his belt that has the letter M on it. His many rings to do magical things. And then back to the double pictures again. Here is Doctor Strange. Crying. I don't know why he's crying. And there's Vision. In a suit and tie. Iron Man again, with just a tiny little laser, and Bruce Banner, more chest air. Hawkeye in his purple uniform. Next to Black Widow with her black lipstick. And then we have Thor. For some reason, he's really old looking now. And he's next to a super tiny Odin. It's just like in the Loki picture. Don't know why Odin's so tiny. Or why they look so much alike. And now, there's just a whole series of Fox pictures. This is the first one. Well, throughout here, there will be a lot. This one is Thor, with short brown hair and his Gregly beard, next to Loki. He's probably telling him how ugly that outfit and hairstyle looks on him. Here's Rhodey outside of his suit. He's very serious right now. More of the fox. She's holding a maple leaf this time. And this one is supposed to be Jane Foster. She's had enough of whatever nonsense was, go nonsense was going on. And Foxy again. In the high chair with the bib, it says feed me. And here's Iron Man again. It's Tony, but he's in a black Iron Man suit. He's next to She Hulk. I don't know why. Foxy begging. Captain America with scaly uniform. And he's next to. Uh, I think this one was supposed to be. I don't know. Probably Black Widow. Or maybe Natasha. There's no indication on whether she's supposed to be Black Widow or Natasha in this picture. Foxy pouncing on a mouse. Peter Parker, who looks like he has a brain sticking out of his head. And he's next to the Black Panther again. But this time he's not even in his uniform, he's just wearing a red shirt. Foxy again, laying down on her back. Happy is happy. Foxy sneaking up to an unsuspecting rabbit. 
but she has her belly dragging on the ground because she's too fat. And Foxy running. Uh, Foxy trapped in a tree with a bird taunting her, and there's an owl in the tree. The squirrel thinks it's funny that she's stuck in a tree. Because how did she get in that tree anyways? She's not supposed to be good at climbing. This is one of my full scenes. I rarely do full scenes. Because of how long it takes to draw and color in. Spider-Man! He's getting touched by Dr. Octopus's arms. He's gonna tickle him. Tickle fight! This looks like... This looks like the Black Panther, but this was supposed to be one of my characters. I'm not going to use him because he looks too much like the Black Panther, and I'm not allowed to do that. His name was Tally Claus, and he's a war cat. He's got a necklace and some bracelets and a few tail bracelets, all holding extra claws that he can attach to his own to use for fighting. So I guess he uses his claws a lot. But yeah, again, I'm not allowed to use this guy because he looks too much like the Black Panther. This one is Pinecone as a Hylian. He's wearing a brown tunic with a green undershirt. And he's happy. Foxy again. Standing on a box, leaning against the wall. A regular skinny fox coming down the stairs to, and he's confused as to what's going on. I didn't color in the background, just the box and the orange fox. This is Darcy. That is Jane Foster's friend. She looks like a vampire for some reason. He's wearing a red beanie hat. I have a character who wears a red beanie hat too. Got the scarf. A black dress, gray sleeves, and then, speaking of vampires, here's Foxy dressed as a vampire, but she was too fat to fit into the costume. And Foxy if she was skinny. But moving on. This one is Riga. That's Thor's mom. She's got her shoulders armored, and she got the chest plate, and she got her arm protectors, her gauntlets. But her hair, it looks like a nest with a baseball in it. That wasn't supposed to look like that. We're getting closer to the end now. Hope you've stuck through this all. It's kind of boring, probably. This is my character, Mungo, next to... A uh, character from Zelda, Shadow Link, to make a comparison of what they looked like, because I'm afraid they might look too similar, because Mungo is actually based on Shadow Link. This is Shadow Link with a long curvy hat, black tank, white shirt, and this is Mungo. Same black hair, except to not in the same style, same blue eyes. His face is slightly a different shape. And he's just wearing a long sleeve black shirt. And then there's this little bitty fox. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was supposed to be Black Streak. Or she goes by sometimes Streak. She's super fast. And when she runs, all you see is a black streak. So that's how she got her name. Foxy's still hungry. Her bowl is empty. What are you gonna do about that? Anyways. Frasier. I don't know which Frasier since I have multiple Frasiers. I tried to do a little bit of shadowing on his neck. That didn't turn out very well. There's his green shirt. Black pants. And Hulk. Again, with a whole bunch of muscles. Again, and Black Widow. 
All you can see is her head because she's short. In comparison to Hulk. Clear, remember that? Oh, the this video is now two parts long. Sorry about that, guys. Sadie's a black clam. She's sitting there looking sad. I accidentally scribbled the wrong direction when I was calling her black, so now she looks like she has a wrinkled forehead and she's now an old man. <laughs> this one was supposed to be Aunt May. Next to Tony Stark, whose arc reactor is glowing really brilliantly for some reason. He's nervous, and she's not amused. And then we have Doctor Strange again. And this time the Eye of Agamotto is open. I don't know what he was using it for. And Scarlet Witch is next to him. Because they're both magicians! No. They both do magic though. So, sort of. Sadie and the Golden Cowbell. I'm not sure if it was actually a bell, but shaped like one. It's made completely of gold. So it probably wouldn't work that well. I don't know. She stole it from a cow. Because reasons. Here is Thor. And Loki. But Thor is wearing a different colored uniform than usual. This time he's wearing teal and gold. Instead of red and black. Loki thinks it's funny to play tricks on Thor, but Thor does not like that at all. Sadie laying down, one leg stretched out. She's staring at that leg for some reason. Maybe something happened, I don't know. Um, I think that was Clint Barton again. He's confused, he can't really hear what jokes that Rhodey's telling and the jokes didn't make sense anyway so even if he did hear them they he's still confused Rhodey thinks it's funny and Heimdall this one took me a long time to draw and it was kind of awkward to draw at first because the different shapes were not what I was used to drawing it looked like he was kissing a tulip at first but that's the top of his sword these big shoulder pads. Long sword. Because the sword's almost as tall as him. And Sadie, twist kicking. She's gonna twist kick someone across the room because she can. And her tongue's sticking out. I don't know. I don't know why. And here's Phil Coulson. I don't really have much to say about him. He's wearing a blue and silver tie and a suit. He's just Phil. Quicksilver and Steve Rogers. He's saying something, but Steve is kind of like, meh. Captain America with two different colored hair. Yellow on the top, brown on the bottom. Scaly again. And he's next to, it's supposed to be Bucky, who has his mask and his mustache. His arm. He's from some kind of 70s band, it looks like. 70s rock band. Steve doesn't know what to think about that. He's concerned. There, Bucky. Bucky, you alright? You alright there? And this looks like Cheese Dipped Man and Ariel from The Little Mermaid. No, 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 no. This is supposed to be Steve Rogers. I didn't really know what I was doing with the hair because I wasn't using a picture for reference anymore. And this one was supposed to be Wanda. And she's crying.
And Sadie's in a pit. I don't know if this turned out very well, but it was supposed to look like she was actually in a pit. And that this was supposed to be above the pit. Around the edges. So she's in a pit. She's using a box to help herself climb out. She's probably a puppy in this picture. And here's Vision. And Scarlet Witch. He's in a suit and tie and I accidentally colored one of his collars black on one side and white on the other. She notices that too. She's like, oh, what? Of course, he doesn't really feel anything about that because emotions? What are emotions? Uh huh. Another Peter Parker where it looks like this here is a brain. Instead of this time, it's a dark colored brain. He's like, meh. MJ, she's sad. And then I drew Red Link and Veal Link as cats. So Red's happy, he's got his little tongue sticking out. And then there's Veal, who's trying to look serious. He actually turned out a little bit too blue and indigo. He's supposed to be purple though. Getting even closer to the end. Alright, hold on. This is Lillian when she was young. She that's supposed to be a bun. She's got two little ponytails sticking off. She ran a red a black dress, not a red dress. That's obviously not red. I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> and this is Lafe. The ice giant from Jotunheim, the king of the Jotuns, and he's got this green thing tied around his waist, which is good. This is supposed to be Balder, that's Thor and Loki's brother, who's not in the movies, because he's not really that important, I guess. I kind of used my own interpretation to draw him because there wasn't really very many pictures of him. And here is Tony in the black Iron Man suit again. He thinks something's amusing, obviously. Nick Fury, on the other hand, doesn't even care. Is it that? Mm -hmm. And then Doctor Strange's hair turned completely silver. And apparently he's been using the Agamotto again. And this time it's Wanda instead of Scarlet Witch. And she's grumpy about that apparently. And he's like, I didn't mean to. Look at not like that. I cannot really explain this much. You remember those pictures of that white fox I've been showing you? Well, this is what would happen if you combined her with Loki. Yes, it's not very pretty. That's not a very pretty sight, so... Yeah, not a good idea. And then... Scarlet Witch with the helmet again. This time I tried to make it look more 3D. But it just looks like a weird shaped Lego brick or a bed on her head. A bed for her head. And then we have Hawkeye over here with this weird mask. He's not too happy either. So clearly something happened. And this is Tyre. Uh, he's not really important. He just lost his hand to Loki's son, Fenner. Like I said, not important. He's just tired. And there's one picture left. This is Clint Burton and Peter Parker. Clearly not obvious. I mean, 
What other character would have a a target on his shirt? And what character would wear red and blue like that? In that exact way. Again, I kind of don't know how to do that hairstyle, so it looks like a brain. He's happy. He's sad. Alright, I'm going to turn the camera back around now. Alright, I hope you guys have stuck through that whole thing, even though it was really long and probably really boring. And if you like this video and the drawings that I have made, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for even more videos. Because there's plenty more videos coming. Bye!